from a can is the latest trend, generating over 15 million in 2016. But is it just for stealth drinkers or is it actually drinkable? Where do you stand on canned wine? We teamed up with noted wine expert Wassam Kawa to taste four of the most popular brands. All right, we're going to start with perhaps what will be the toughest for you because you're used to fanciness. Fanciness all the way. Our first can, Trader Joe's Simpler Wines. It sold out quickly after it was introduced, but luckily it's back in stock. The four packs are a summer drinking steal at $3.99. It is Italian. The grape is Garganera. It's aged in stainless steel tanks. We started out by uncorking a sparkling white. What are you getting? Yeast. It is yeasty. There's no oak on it, so it's going to be kind of lean and zippy. Lean and zippy? It's lean and zippy. It's not bad. That's a dollar well spent. What? I did not expect this at all. Somalia Sam has just dropped a bomb on me. You would take Delicious. it to the beach. In a heartbeat. It's zippy. It's fruit driven. Uh, it has a clean, simple finish, as it should. Would you say it's precocious without being overbearing? Yeah, absolutely. The next can wine we tasted, the We Are California Red Blend from Sonoma County, can be found online or at Total Wine and More, and steps up the price a little to $2.99 a can. Fairly simple. Doesn't have a lot going on. I can tell that your hopes aren't that high for this blend. It's not bad. You know? It looks like a Coke. It looks like a Coke. And yeah. it drinks like a cap. Our third wine tasting, Underwood Pinot Gris, can be found at BevMo and Total Wine and More. The can equals half a bottle and will run you $6.99. Fruit flavors, right? Mm -hmm. I would say I'm apple, getting... pear, mm -hmm. white cherry, white lily blossoms. Let's try it. I don't want to use too many technical terms with you, but it's yummy. Right? That's all that matters. That's what matters. That's all that matters. So, If you had to describe it, what would you say? Fruit forward, yeah. It has nice tones of minerality, chalk, crushed slate. It's good. And since it's summer, you can't forget rosé. We're going to talk about the house rosé. The house rosé. It's $5.99, and I believe that's enough for two glasses of wine. House wine can also be found online and at Total Wine and More. This is a lovely blend of Grenache and Syrah. Are you going to do the Slurpee thing? I love it when you, you do that. You have to. That's my favorite. Oh, there you go. Yes, good. This one's actually delicious. How about the finish? It's simple. It's clean, as it should be. Much like the finish of this piece. Cheers. Hands up, pinkies down. Pack up your coolers with some canned wine on the top of the list.